Hello folks, this is a 2011 May June paper 2-2 two, two, and the question number is 3. This question is concerned with uh, uh, the chapter work, energy and power as you can see from these two first uh, two questions. The first question says uh, explain what is mean by work done. So work done, work is said to be done when a force applied on a body produces some displacement uh, in its direction. Uh, direction so the formula becomes w equal to work in uh, force into displacement into uh, cos of the angle between the direction of force and displacement and the power it's equal to rate of doing work or you can say simply work done by time elapsed now in number b number b uh, the question is figure 3.1 shows part of a fairground ride fairground ride with a carries on the rails carries on the rails the carriers and passengers have a total mass of uh, 600 kg, so it is uh, small m. The carriage is traveling at a speed of uh, 9.5 meter per second, so it is simply uh, v, towards a slope inclined at uh, 30 degrees, so it is simply alpha, to the horizontal, so this is alpha, equal to alpha. The carriage comes to rest after traveling up the slope to a vertical height of 4.1 meter, this is h. So calculate the kinetic energy in kilojoules of the carriers and passengers as they travel towards the slope. So we have to find the Ke uh, in this situation. So the Ke here is equal to is equal to 1 by 2 m into v square. That's equal to 1 by 2 into mass equal to 600 kgs. And the velocity here is equal to 9.5 and square. So this gives us the value is equal to to say, uh, but if I use the calculator here, uh, I'm slightly confused with this. Um, yeah, so it is 27, 27075 joules. So since we have to express terms of kilojoules, so I can say it as uh, 27.0755 kilojoules, and I can write it as 27.1 kilojoules when I write it in two, uh, 3 SF. Now, in the next question, it is said that show that the gain in potential energy of the carriage and passengers is 24 kilojoules so the gain in pe is equal to delta pe is equal to is equal to mg into h minus 0 because the initial height is 0 and the final height is uh, uh, this uh, 41 meter so i write it like this so this becomes equal to equal to mass is 600 kgs g equal to 9.81 and the height is 4.1 minus this 0 so equal to so this becomes equal to uh, 600 uh, into 9.81 into uh, 4.1 uh, I don't need to do minus 0 so it becomes equal to yes so it is 24,132 joules so I can write it as write it as 24.132 kilojoules which is nearly equal to 24 kilojoules now the next question is calculate the work done against the resistive force as the carries as the carries moves up the slope so what it says so let me fold this thing such that i can explain uh, things a bit more clearly so what it says is the initial energy that it possessed was only ke so this ke is used for two purposes one is to increase the pe and another is to uh, do work against the frictional forces here so what I have here is, so this uh, delta Ke was utilized in creating, in, in increasing the potential energy plus in uh, doing work against friction. So our equation should be somewhat like this. So this will be equal to, delta Ke is equal to the Ke that it, it possessed here in the beginning which is, uh, was equal to uh, 27075 minus 0. So at this point it is 0 equal to delta p is equal to it is given as uh, 24132 plus this is wf so therefore wf is equal to 27075 minus 24132 and this becomes equal to equal equal to so if i do it uh, uh, the calculations so 27075 minus 24132 that becomes equal to 2943 2943 joules now i have to express in terms of kilojoules so it's equal to equal to 
2.943 kilojoules and when I rate it in 3 SF it becomes 2.94 kilojoules. Now use your answer in a 3 to calculate the resistive force acting against the carries as it moves up the slope. So that will be equal to the work done second friction should be equal to the product of a force itself, frictional force itself into the distance that it has traveled. And the distance travel is this from here to here. And this distance will be equal to equal to equal to FF into it should be equal to this height, this height divided the sine 30 degree. It's because it's because sine 30 degree is equal to h divided by is equal to s divided by this thing so this thing is equal to s so so this gives us this s is equal to s goes here sine 30 goes here so s is equal to h by sine 30 so therefore 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 f f is equal to w f into sine 30 degree divided this h so wf is equal to 2943 into sin 30 is 0.5 divided this h is equal to 4.1 and the value becomes so let me do it in the calculator uh, so 2943 into 0.5 divided 4.1 becomes equal to 358.9 newton so when i write it in a 3 sf it becomes equal to 3 59 Newton so I don't need to write this Newton here it's already written uh, in the text itself so these are the complete answers to this question